For member statements today, we will hear for, from the members for the districts of Conception Bay South, Stephenville Port of Port, Harbor Grace Port de Grave, Fortune Bay Cape Lahoon, and St. John's Center. The Honourable the Member for Conception Bay South. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I'm proud to say I knew the late Master Corporal Darrell Croner very well. He was a search and rescue technician with the 413 Search and Rescue Squadron out of Greenwood, Nova Scotia. The CH-113 helicopter was en route from CFB Greenwood when it went down on Quebec's Gas Bay Peninsula while returning from a SAR mission. Speaker, six members of the Tusker 27 crew passed away October 2nd, 1998. This was a very sad day for our community, losing, losing a native son only one year earlier for, uh, after receiving the bravery award for his daring rescue of crew members on a sunken cargo ship in the North Atlantic. Yesterday, I had the privilege of attending Admiral's Academy Remembrance Day Ceremony. This was a special ceremony which, followed, which was followed by the renaming of the Admiral Academy Resource Room. This event was an emotional one for his family and friends, with the unveiling of a plaque and a mur mural officially naming it the Master Corporal Cronin Learning Commons. This is a very, very fitting tribute to a great resident of Kellegrews, Conception Bay South, but also a great Newfoundlander and Labradorian. Mr. Speaker, I ask all honorable members to join me in thanking those involved in making this a reality and to honor Daryl's memory. Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable the Member for the District of Stephenville, Port of Port. Mr. Speaker, I stand today to congratulate Ms. Rita Janes of Boss Wallows on reaching a magnificent milestone in her life. Ms. Janes celebrated her 100th birthday on November 4th. I had the pleasure of attending a birthday celebration in her honor at Silverwood Manor in Kippens just this past Sunday. She lived in Boswallis on the Port of Fort Peninsula on her own until the age of 92 before moving to the Silverwood Manor. Mr. Speaker, something can be said for living off the land and its relation to reaching 100 years. Ms. Janes credits her longevity to doing exactly that. She and her husband, George, must have cleaned hundreds of rabbits as he would bring a few home from every day in the woods. They were together for more than 61 years before he passed at the age of 88. Together, they had five children. Mr. Speaker, Ms. Janes loves to have a game of cards, still enjoys knitting, especially for family members and friends who still like to get her homemade socks and mitts. Mr. Speaker, birthday greetings come from her two surviving children, Linda Hoskins and Betty Spencer nine grandchildren, 15 great-grandchildren, 11 great-great-grandchildren, one great-great-great-grandchild, two step-great-grandchildren, as well as hundreds of friends and family. Mr. Speaker, I ask all honorable members to join me on wishing her good health and a heartfelt congratulations on reaching 100 years. Thank you. The Honourable the Member for Harbour Grace, Port de Grace. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to recognize the Miss Teen Newfoundland and Labrador Pageant Committee. Volunteers Kathy Tetford, Wendy Penny, Christy Ann Janes, Debbie Vokey, Elizabeth Baker, Ashley Janes, and Diane Parsons. On November 4th, the committee put off the 61st annual pageant at the Danny Cleary Community Centre in Harbour Grace, featuring five strong female contestants who competed for the title demonstrating skills in the categories of education, accomplishments, volunteer work, fitness, friendship, and camaraderie. Mr. Speaker, it's a time when strong women are making their voices heard and their talents known. And this committee of leaders strives to highlight the fact that the Miss Teen Newfoundland and Labrador pageant has evolved from being strictly a beauty pageant to an event that celebrates and promotes the accomplishments of the province's finest young women. Women who are smart, successful, determined, and committed to our province and our youth. They look upon this pageant as a platform for which they can inspire and encourage today's young people. Along with so many sponsors, the town of Harbor Grace is a significant supporter, allocating funding, funding in its yearly municipal budget, as Harbor Grace is where the Miss, Teen New is the Miss Newfoundland and Labrador pageant rather, 
It's where it originated in historic Harbor Grace. Mr. Speaker, I ask that all honorable colleagues join me in congratulating the committee and, of course, our new Miss, Miss Newfoundland and Labrador, Miss Tammy Snook of Harbor Breton. The Honorable Member for the District of Fortune Bay, Cape Lahoon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in this Honorable House to co extend congratulations to Tammy Oliver Snook of Harbour Breton for her prestigious accomplishment of being crowned Miss Newfoundland and Labrador 2018-2019. We are extremely proud that Tammy was recognized for the amazingly gifted individual she, she is, and we are so very proud of her success. Tammy rose to the challenge of meeting Miss Newfoundland and Labrador's rigorous search for a community-minded, well-rounded young woman with integrity, strong academic, and leadership skills. Tammy's genuine, warm-hearted nature was also recognized by her fellow contestants who chose her to become the cherished Miss Friendship 2018-19. With her remarkable skills, talents, and giving nature, Tammy is an excellent ambassador for my district and our province. And we look forward to watching her achieve her dreams and being an inspiration to youth in our province. I also thank the organizing committee for providing this wonderful opportunity. I ask all members to join me in congratulating Tammy Oliver Snook, our proud lion of Harbor Breton and tremendous role model who exhibits the genuine beauty of the human spirit and what can be achieved when you set your mind to achieving your goals. The Honourable Member for the District of St. John's Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Rec House winds reach up to 200 kilometres an hour and Sherry Ryan is taking the provincial music scene by a wicked storm with her latest album, Rec House. Winner of this year's Music NL Female Artist of the Year Award, Sherry is hailed as Newfoundland and Labrador's Lucinda Williams by Up Magazine. There is so much that we can be proud about in Sherry's new work as she sings about her life, our lives, and our Newfoundland and Labrador. In Stop the Train, co-written with her dad, Jim Ryan, Sherry sings about legendary wind gauge Lockie McDougall, who worked for the Newfoundland Railroad from 1939 to 1965 and who could smell the wind and how the wreck house winds could blow a train off the tracks. It's such a great tune. One review said, drifting between country, blues and folk, Sherry's songs can lead you down a path of heartbreak, hope and even humour in the space of a single chorus. For sure, one of our finest singer-songwriters her train will not be stopping anytime soon. Bravo, Sherry Ryan, Music NL's Female Artist of the Year.